The general public relies on the law, the court system, and lawyers to protect and enforce their legal rights. Though most people imagine a dramatic speech in a regal wood-paneled courtroom in front of an awestruck jury and a stern judge, the truth is that most legal work happens in writing. That's because lawyers are professional writers. Lawyers write to persuade, appeal, demand, document, and explain. Writing is how lawyers deliver significant outcomes and protect important rights. Every document must be perfect. When people think of lawyers and legal work, they usually imagine courtroom scenes, something dramatic, something that you see out of, this, out of suits or the practice. And they don't think much about writing. Yet, writing is what every lawyer does every day, regardless of their practice area. And it's the foundation of any service that we provide to our clients, so it's gotta be good. A lot of what I have to do in my personal practice is really to explain uh, the law to, to technologists and explain technology to, to clients. And trying to translate these sometimes really complex concepts um, to different types of people who may not be experts in the law or not be experts in technology really requires clear writing, concise writing, and it is incredibly important to be not just an effective oral advocate and communicator, but also an effective, concise writer and to be able to convey those concepts in writing. We talk to students about the fact that writing can make a case go really well, and it can make a case go not so well, and it can also prevent a case. In that sense, we talk to students things like a contract, if it's written really well, uh, parties know what they're supposed to do and they avoid conflict and uh, problems down the road. If they don't write so well and if there's ambiguity in the contract, that's not good for anyone. It can be expensive, it can be burdensome, um, and clients generally aren't satisfied. So sometimes putting it in real life terms like that for students really um, emphasizes to them why they need to take the time at the outset to do a good job. Every lawyer understands that writing is important. But once you get into practice and clients have needs, you start to sacrifice that because you can be fast or you can be good. And there's a tension between the two, unless you use technology to help. In any business, you choose to focus on the things that are countable and the things that you can easily document or quantify. Writing is not one of those things. It's hard to tell what is good writing until you get deep into a document. And it's hard to determine how much time you should invest in the document to make it good. And because of that, I think we've drifted away from doing a good job uh, because we've been so focused on things that we can count. General word processing kind of 101 has always been around for lawyers and tools are getting more sophisticated, the basic tools lawyers use every day. Um, but writing isn't different than anything else lawyers do. So when you think about remote technology for lawyers or online dispute resolution or being able to attend a court hearing virtually, technology is impacting every aspect of what modern lawyers do. I think there is some hesitancy sometimes to adopt new technology or, or artificial intelligence in legal practice because an attorney's greatest fear is to be replaced by a computer someday, right? But what I find is that with tools like WordRig and, and other technology that we're using, what it allows us to do is it allows us to lawyer more effectively. So WordRig runs in Microsoft Word. It's an add-in, which means that it harnesses all the functionality of Microsoft Word and then builds on it. So you have the familiarity of this program that's been on your computer all along. And then we add to it using the same framework with the, tr with the track changes. And it takes only one click to get our editing feedback. Lawyers tend to be wordy because they're afraid of leaving something out. And they believe that wordiness and legalese and even jargon is the precise way to go. It's the safe way to go. But it doesn't need to be that way. With legal writing or any type of writing, with fewer words, you will get to the point and stay focused. And that will actually help your clients understand uh, in a way that they could never do before. 
So I think every lawyer, every law student, every writer, every person ha has their own kind of pros and cons, right, to their own work process and their own writing. We all have our tendencies, we all have our downfalls, we all have our strengths. And what's really interesting is, I don't know if this is just lawyers or, or folks in general, it's very hard for us to see that, right, when we're so close to our writing. So a tool like WordRate provides almost kind of an objective eye, if you will, kind of a, a mystery editor that the tool pointing something out is, is just different um, compared to us reading our writing over and over again. We're so attached to it um, and we're so comfortable with it and the lawyer in us is so used to it that it's very hard to see improvement when it comes to clarity and brevity and things like that. Just personally, uh, I have a particular writing tech where I add that unnecessarily to my emails and using WordRake has really highlighted that particular tick for me and it's something that I'll actually spot now uh, even without running WordRake over my writing. And I think is a, a concrete example of how using technology is making me better at my work. The thing about great writing is that it's consistent everywhere. Uh, you, it must be grammatically correct, it must be clear, it must be fit for purpose. And that's not unique to law. So though WordRake was originally conceived as a legal writing tool, any business can benefit from using WordRake. So I think that more and more business professionals will use WordRake over time. And I think that more will start using the Outlook version of WordRake too, understanding that email communication is just as worthy of editing and clarity as is anything else that you might formally write in Microsoft Word. Evolution involves consistently making small yet significant changes over time. It's time for the legal profession to evolve and embrace technology. Writing is a great place to start. Every client benefits when documents are clear, concise, and accurate. Every lawyer benefits when they spend their time on the highest value, most impactful work. Tools like WordRake show that meaningful technology change is possible and it's something that every lawyer should do.